Welcome to this public service announcement. Hi, I'm John DeVore. I'm a middle-aged white man. Are you a middle-aged white man like me? Are you afraid that you are becoming irrelevant? Do you start internet comments with things like, in my day, or anything made after? If you look back in your purchase history, have you pre-ordered every single Bob Dylan bootleg deluxe box set? Do you get irritable and insecure when Rick Beato is late on his next video about rock by white men? Do you wish Joe Rogan could have replaced Simone Biles in the Olympics and shown people a thing or two? Well, you don't have to be afraid anymore. Here are a few records I recommend that will help. Number one is The Great Billie Eilish, Happier Than Ever. This is Billie's third album. It's her newest, and it is fantastic. Great sounding, surprisingly mature, but people said that about her first album, and I agree with that as well. Uh, it's a fantastic album. You may find yourself rolling your eyes at lyrics like, I'm getting older, and things like that. But nevertheless, this album is killer. How about Laura Marling? Semper Femina. Laura Marling, she's got a lot of records out. This is a fantastic one. Really good rock songwriting. A little bit eclectic, but on target. Next, we have Pretty Much Anything by Kendrick Lamar. This is my top recommendation to Pimp a Butterfly. This is a killer record. He is my favorite current rap, rap artist. Uh, and it is, this is, it's smart, excellent, funky, all around killer. With a caveat, uh, with a tipper gore warning, adult lyrics. If you are freaked out about a lot of profanity, swears, shit, fuck, stuff like that, a lot of liberal use of the N-word, uh, various genitalia being mentioned, things like that, you may try something a little more removed. This is by Robert Glasper, Robert Glasper uh, Experiment. He has two records that under the black radio uh, nomenclature that have a lot of different artists. And they're both killer, uh, and including even stuff that's not under the black radio. He just put out a single with um, Michelle and Delia Cello, which is absolutely amazing. It really a pretty a killer record. So, and, and these, these songs tend to be a little less current with their rapping language um, and, and great in their own way. Not as ultimately representative as the Kendrick Lamar solo albums, but killer in their own right. Uh, next we have, this is the most recent record from Pan Daijing. This record is called Jade. Pan Dai Jing is a performance artist and uh, putting out records is only one of many venues for her talent. Uh, and they're great. This is the most approachable of all of her records. They are killer though, and they're out there. I had so many records that I could recommend, but the last one I'm gonna do, just so I have something that is verily non-Western, and that is Tanari Wen. Uh, this is Tassili and something else. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, all the, actually, all of Tanara Wen's records are great. This is just a really good example. Um, these are uh, like North African or Middle Eastern in flavor much more because the musicians are from those areas and it's beautiful music. There's certainly plenty to identify in it in terms of uh, some of the jazz lexicon and things like that, but it's absolutely done in a non-American, non-Western way. Uh, and it's killer, and it's very easy to listen to, and it's uh, quite addictive. I hope this helps you out like it helped me. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you at the next one.